Hi, this is a basic core workout. Our entire workout is going to be spent on the floor. We're going to do an exercise and then have a little rest. Let's start out on the floor, laying on your back, bending one knee at a time into an angle. We call these a tabletop pulse. Go ahead and lift your head up off the floor. Shoulders are off the, off the floor. Palms are facing down. And then just go ahead and pulse here. If your neck starts to get tired in this position, feel free to go ahead and lie down and come back up. But the aim is to keep your core engaged the whole time in this position. Work in the core. Keeping the knees bent. Now let's go straight into our next move, which is a basic crunch. Your feet are planted on the floor, hands are behind the head. You're gonna go ahead and lift your shoulders up off the floor and lower back down. Whenever you're doing a crunch, you're basically just resting your hands here. You're never pulling your neck forward. They're just there for a little bit of support. But you're tightening the core, getting those shoulder blades up off the, up off the floor. Keep it going. Going on to our hands and knees now, making sure your wrists and shoulders are aligned and your knees are directly underneath your hips. All you're gonna do, one arm up, one leg back, crunch to the middle, and then replace the hand and knee to the floor. Up, crunch, and back down. This really works on all of your stabilizing core muscles. And it's a real good challenge for your balance. Our next move, I want you to go ahead and lay flat on your tummy, keeping your hands by your chest. What you're gonna do is lift one leg up and extend one arm out in front of you. You wanna keep that leg nice and straight, straighten out the arms. 
So you're engaging the small muscles in your lower back called your erector spinae. It's a really important part of, your, part of your core. Important safety cue is to only lift your leg up just a couple of inches off the floor. It's not about getting that leg high off the floor. Just a couple of inches is perfect. Our next exercise is really going to work the sides of your core. Feet are planted, you're going to sit back slightly, keep your hands together. You're going to go ahead, twist to one side, come to the middle, and then twist over to the other. Keeping your core engaged the whole time and making sure that your eyes are following where you're twisting. Great job with your core workout. 